Hi, I'm John Stage, this is Dude Food. Today we're gonna do a pan-seared ribeye with a barbecue cook's butter with a surprising twist. Every time that we had a send back on a ribeye at the restaurant, it was always because of this globule of fat. So what I wanna do is connect my favorite piece of meat, get rid of this fat, put a skewer in it, and then cook it on high heat on this cast iron grill. So let me show you how this is done. Make a little indentation right here, and then just peel that back. Peel it back. I tell you, if you really wanna live a little, <laughs> just uh, give somebody else that piece and you take this one. That's where it's at. So just peel that fat out. Again, you don't even need the knife. Then you just take it, you wrap it right, well, I'm gonna nick this right here too. Okay, then wrap that mother just like this. And take your skewer, put it right in there. As it's cooking, the new port is gonna connect with the eye. So one more skewer in this. All right, look how pretty that is. So we're just gonna hit a little more fat off of this because the exterior fat, you just want this really to be about an eighth of an inch. I gotta tell you, this is gorgeous. Okay, there we have it. So we got our skewers in and right before we serve this, as it comes off the pan, we'll let the meat rest a little bit. Then we're going to take the skewers out. So we're going to liberally season this. We have a recipe online for this uh, red rub. This will give a little, a little bit of that outdoor flavor. What we're going to do is put the oil in and we're going to pan fry these steaks in the cast iron. So this thing's hot. I'm just going to see how hot this is. I'm going to take a... All right, so that's got a good sear to it. So let's hit it with the oil now. I actually want to use an oil that has a high smoking point. Canola does, grapeseed oil does. Like you don't want to use an olive oil, especially not like an extra virgin olive oil in this. Okay, so we got about uh, maybe an eighth of an inch covered on the bottom of the pan. And you see that? The oil shimmering, it's ready. That's a good sound right there. Okay. All right, so you don't want to crowd these guys. They need their own space. All right, so this is going to be a minute. So what we're going to do now is make a compound butter. Real quick, we're going to put this together. So we have unsalted butter, and we've let it soften to room temperature. Some dino barbecue. We got a little bit of lemon. Black pepper, kosher salt. A little bit of Tabasco, some um, smoked paprika, and a little bit of parsley. Now my cook's instincts, my nose is telling me I should check this steak one more time before we get into this. Okay, perfect. This steak wants to be turned. Now you see that sear we got? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a crust on the other side, and then I'm going to turn this pan down a little bit because we achieved everything we wanted to achieve here, but I don't want this to burn. These are very thick steaks. So, perfect opportunity to whip up this butter. And we just mix it together. I gotta tell you, this, this spatula is not doing it for me. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my hands. We are good to go. Now we're gonna make like a, a butter log out of this. So you place this right in the plastic wrap, and then you roll it. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the refrigerator, and then what that'll do is solidify it, and then we're gonna end up melting this over to steak. Yep. We're done. Let's take this over and rest this for a minute. You don't really want to dive into your steaks right away. Give this, give this five minutes. And now I'm going to say we're about 120 on this. 
Let's check it out. So I'm shooting for about 130. We're about 110 right now on this. So here, we got that beautiful char. You just put a little bit of butter. This goes great over fish. This goes good on lamb. That's gorgeous. Let's hit this with a little more butter. I'm gonna take these out right now. And we're gonna hit this. And that is a very nice medium right there. See how it's pink? Now you may like a medium rare, just cook a little less. I, I do like medium. Mm. That's outstanding. Pan seared ribeye with a barbecue cook's butter. I'm John Stage, this is Dude Food. Don't forget to subscribe. Low fat, protein rich, and absolutely terrifying. Check out the world's scariest amused bouche, the scorpion. When pranking fast food workers, there's a fine line between funny and mean. Wait, no, I'm just kidding, it's all funny. See Noah's top three drive through gags. Just in time for the big game, Richard Blaze cooks up a true pigskin classic for the Sklar brothers. You don't want to miss this. Think a kid's puzzle is easy? Try doing one after eating the world's hottest pepper. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.